ready start yara on february 12 1954 the custodian served a notice on the respondent and the two appellants to show cause why the agreement of lease should not be cancelled on account of breach of conditions in the matter of the payment of the sixth quarterly installment of rent and the failure to deposit or furnish bank guarantee for the amount of rupees 7 lakh a writ petition was thereupon filed by the partnership on february 16 1954 in the bombay high court for quashing the notice issued by the custodian in the meantime the second appellant sent letter dated february 8 1954 to the respondent suggesting that his share in the partnership be reduced to 1 rupees or to such other fraction as the respondent thought fit a similar letter was addressed by the first appellant on february 4 24 the parties entered into a second agreement of partnership it was agreed in the new partnership agreement that the share of the first appellant would be 3 annas and that of the second appellant 1 anna in a rupees the respondent was to have the remaining 12 annas share it was also agreed that the two appellants would not have the right title and interest in the name capital assets and goodwill of the partnership it was provided that the new partnership would be deemed to have been formed as from october 1 1953 accounts for the period from august 30 1952 to september 30 1953 were to be made up on the basis of the partnership agreement dated august 30 1952 and the profits and losses for that period were to be distributed accordingly the capital of the partnership was agreed to be arranged by the respondent and he was to be the managing partnership in control of the entire affairs of the partnership he was also to get interest at 6% on all finances arranged by him the appellants agreed to carry on such duties in the concern as might be assigned to them by the respondent the period of the partnership was to be the outstanding period of the lease para the writ petition referred to above filed by the partnership to quash the notice of the custodian was allowed by a single judge of the bombay high court on march 31 1954 on appeal filed by the custodian a division bench of the high court as per judgment dated april 13 1954 set aside the order of the single judge and dismissed the writ petition certificate of fitness for appeal to this court was granted by the high court on may 5 1954 stay order was also issued on that day restraining the custodian from disposing the respondent and the appellants from ambarnath mills appeal against the decision of the division bench of bombay high court was then filed in this court the custodian of evacue property made an order on may 25 1954 cancelling the agreement of lease of ambarnath mills dated august 30 1952 the possession of the mills was voluntarily delivered by the partnership to the custodian on june 30 1954 para representations were made on behalf to the minister of rehabilitation during the latter half of 1954 for being allowed to retain ambarnath mills a communication was also addressed on december 14 1954 to the minister of rehabilitation suggesting inter alia 
that the claim of the custodian against the partnership in respect of arrears of rent and the value of raw material and other goods should be referred to arbitration para the displaced person compensation and rehabilitation act 1954 came into force on october 9 1954 on march 10 1955 the central government issued notification under section 12 of that act acquiring the ambarnath mills an advertisement was then issued by the central government for the sale of ambarnath mills tenders for the purchase of the mills were required to be submitted by june 9 1955 on june 7 1955 a representation was made in view of the pendency of its appeal in the supreme court in respect of the custodian notice for cancellation of the lease the ambarnath mills should not be sold stop